Hello and welcome to this vlog. I have not done a vlog in God knows how long. So today I'm gonna to ease myself into the first vlog. It's gonna be a very short vlog. So a lot has changed since actually vlogging last time. I am no longer a PhD student. Technically now I am a postdoc. Now you may be wondering what on earth a postdoc is. So after you finish your PhD, you can continue down the academic route by doing a postdoctoral position. So technically I am a postdoc, but I have not got a contract, meaning that it can finish any time. And the future of my life is still up in the air still undecided. I've been getting a lot more into finance recently and I have a dedicated finance only channel. If you guys wanna check that out, I'll leave it in the description down below. So I'm in two minds whether to stay in academia or going down the kind of consulting finance route because I'm actually very interested in the economy and finance in general. And I also do like keeping myself busy and I know those jobs are very, very long and difficult. And if I don't spend most of my time doing something difficult, I get very, very, very bored. And it's like a mind numbing boredness so I don't really mind working a lot of hours that will just mean that I can't really focus on YouTube and stuff like that because I'm pretty sure by the time I finish working I'm gonna to be too tired to do anything else but anyway today is the last week of September and that means freshers week so all the new students have started if you've noticed I haven't really been posting on this channel because my office gets really loud because there's a lot of students coming in and out all the time closing the doors around and that makes an echo so it's really hard to film but give it a few weeks and all these students won't actually be there so what am I going to do today so as a postdoc I have a few few responsibilities. So currently I am responsible for publishing more papers as usual. More often now I'm the corresponding author and now the corresponding author is not necessarily one that does all the experiments even though I can be involved in the experiments. The corresponding author is actually the one that sends off the manuscripts, the manuscripts then come back and the corrections are being made and after it's published the corresponding author is then responsible for any communications, any communications that you know the readers want to communicate towards the authors. Also, the new master's students have started. So my supervisor actually has his master's course and that's where I actually met my supervisor. I did my master's and then did my PhD with him and I'm still with him. So they've started meaning that lectures will be on soon. So in two weeks, I'm gonna be giving my first tutorial. So the funny thing is yesterday we had the course directors meeting. So all the new master's students actually started. And outside the lecture hall, they were all lined up and my supervisor introduces me to them. And one guy at the back was like, are you that YouTuber guy? And I was like, maybe. I really didn't know how to respond. It was actually quite embarrassing in front of my supervisor saying, am I that YouTuber guy? And my supervisor was like, he does these videos for UCL. And that's what I've told him. So I told him that UCL has commissioned me to do a couple of videos. So he knows that. So he doesn't actually know about my YouTube channel and the kind of cringe content that I actually post on there. So that's, it was very embarrassing, but it was also quite cool to be recognized. The student said that when he typed in UCL or something like that, my face came up first. So. I guess in that regard it's quite cool. So anyway, we had the first course directors meeting, got to kind of see all the new students. I'm going to be lecturing slash tutorial link that doesn't make sense, giving tutorials to them soon. Today they have a special lunch where I think the master students are gonna be there again and they're gonna ask questions and things like that. So I'm gonna go there excited to meet them. Also because it's Freshers Week, there's a lot of stuff going around the campus. So I'll make sure to actually take the camera and show you bits and bobs around UCL. 